Good morning, folks. There is only one top story this morning. After a smaller filament towards the eastern limb pops on the left, the megafilament turning in ahead of it begins to destabilize. You'll see one snap to the left of it, and then the top trailing arm of the filament begins to lift. This filament became our top eruption threat yesterday, and I imagine I'll be updating this event before tomorrow's news update, so watch for a second upload today. In terms of our other solar eruptions, flaring is still quite low. The departing sunspots are almost out of sight, and we've got almost nothing else but an area that we can watch for development just in case. Looking at seven days of solar wind shows the latest density waves accompanied by the blue phi angle twist we'd been looking for a few days ago. Earth's intake also included a gamma ray burst from Aquila and a major cosmic ray fluctuation over the last 72 hours, confirmed looking at the angle of intake. This is causing some anomalous magnetic pulsations in our system. The electron flux is dropping on the change in solar wind character, but Earth's magnetic shield as a whole still doing all right this morning. If you can pull your eyes from that megafilament, you'll notice the dark coronal holes. You might be wondering what the difference is between the previous one and this one. Well, the last one had tremendous power versus only moderate power this time around, so hopefully no bigger quakes. After all, we released quite a bit of pressure days ago. Death toll continues to climb in Nepal. The first drone flown over the Nepalese capital city shows that the surface of the destruction has barely been scratched. How about a GMO update? Chipotle is going GMO free, and while some commenters see issues with the full validity of their claim, couldn't exactly call this a bad direction for Chipotle to head in general, especially with Vermont's recent victory over Monsanto and the attempt to obfuscate the source of our nutrition. I wish every state was where Vermont is now. Pacific low, driving moisture at the west coast here while the convergence from the last few days down south remains, but with a lot of lost power. You can see the weather warnings for tonight in these areas, but not to the extent we had over the weekend. Then we go to Europe. Still got the low up north, and the system coming together to the south as well off the Mediterranean. That's where you'll see the most concentrated cloud lines driving here. Down under. They've had some major weather events with the convergence lines that hit the past few days. It was quite the storm indeed. Luckily the high pressure will keep the area much clearer tonight as a low develops offshore and moisture drives at New Zealand in a minor way off the southern portion of that high. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Keep your eyes open for a filament eruption update today, but until then, scroll down, click the links and dive a bit deeper on your own. Eyes open. No fear, it's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.